Good morning, St. Rose. My name is Alec. And I'm Caitlin. And this is Saint, is this, and this is St. Rose Live. Your daily dose of everything happening here at St. Rose High School. On this morning's announcements, we have your morning prayer, the Pledge of Allegiance, the daily announcements, and our clip of the day. That and more on this edition of St. Rose TV for Wednesday, October 25th, and today's schedule is regular. Today is Freshman for a Day. Please welcome the freshmen. Oh, welcome to freshmen. Welcome to the freshmen to St. Rose High School. We hope you have a great day. It's not time for this morning's prayer, so please put yourself in the presence of God, clear your mind, open your heart, and please stand for this morning's prayer. Audio Jungle. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, your pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O divine Master, grant that I might that I may not see, to that I might not so much seek. To be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Saint, Saint, Saint Francis, Francis of Assisi, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, St. Rose. Today is Wednesday, October 25th, and today's schedule is regular. Let's take a look at our daily announcements. The blood drive will take place next Monday, October 30th, in the gym. Please see Mr. Perino in room 605 by Thursday if you would like to participate. You will need to have a permission slip signed before you receive your appointment time. Congrats to Brittany Lopez on her first varsity goal of her career. A representative from Lynchburg College will be in the cafeteria today during the lunch periods. A representative from the University of Delaware will be in the 200's conference room tomorrow, Thursday, October 26th at 1 o'clock. All interested students must come to guidance for a pass and get teacher permission to attend the session. Attention sophomores, the Hugo Bryan Youth Leadership Seminar is around the corner. If you're interested in applying to attend the seminar, please go to our guidance and see Ms. Sauer for an application. For over 50 years, the HOBY has empowered youth with transformational leadership training that truly provides a life-changing experience. Every spring, 10,000 students from across the country join one of our 70 state leadership seminars and return to their community inspired and focused on making a difference in their lives. Application deadline is this Friday, November 10th. Support the girls' field hockey team by eating at Bubba Coos in Wall on Thursday, November 2nd. Go Roses! Cinematic Spirituality meets this week. We'll be kicking the year off with Moana. Join us for a movie and discussion this Thursday after school. There is Friday outreach this week. Participating students should report to the front lobby after period three on Friday. Be advised students will be missing periods four through six. And a quick announcement, the uh, swim team has a dry land practice today. Uh, meet in the lobby at 3.30. And those are your daily announcements. If you missed any of today's announcements, you can check the monitors in the hallway and the cafeteria or log on to St. Rose's website and you watch our show. It's now time for today's Daily Trivia 10 questions. See if you and your classmates can answer today's question. Second trivia. Which inventor became famous for his work on an induction coil that's still used in TVs and electronics? Charles Babbage, Garrett Morgan, Nikola Tesla, or Alessandro Volta? The Tesla coil, which can create high voltage at a low current, was invented by Nikola Tesla in 1891. So yesterday was club day here at St. Rose, and the film club uh, got together, and they produced a little video for Halloween safety tips. We're going to show it to the elementary school, but we wanted to show it to you first. So here's a Halloween safety tip number one.
What's that sign say? Candy is inside. I don't think we're supposed to go inside, dude. I don't, I'm not going inside. I'm going. Come on, the door just opened and the candy's inside. Dude, we're not supposed to go into people's houses. But it's a sign. The door literally just opened. I'm, Come on. No. That's not. That's I'm going crazy. inside. I don't care. I'm not going. Here's a helpful Halloween tip, kids. Don't go into strangers' houses. It's now time for today's for today's clip of the day. There are purses that retail for like fifteen dollars. There are purses that retail for fifteen thousand dollars. And then there's the Milad a thousand one nights diamond purse. Now, if you're thinking diamonds are expensive. Think about the fact that this handbag has more than 4,500 of them, and it's made out of 18 karat gold. It holds the Guinness World Record for being the most valuable handbag, priced at $3.8 million. I only have like $3. Yeah. And that's today's clip of the day. <laughs> Thanks for watching this edition of St. Rose Live. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm Alec. And I'm Caitlin. And have a great day here at St. Rose. We will see you back here tomorrow. Thank you and God bless.